What's going on guys, Duggernaut here, and today I just wanted to do a quick little video. Sorry I haven't been uploading a lot. I picked up the new Final Fantasy Zodiac Age, and <laughs> it has been taking all of my time. Uh, it is fantastic. If you have not picked it up, make sure to do so. Uh, you will not be disappointed. I mean, the last time I played Final Fantasy XII was well over ten years ago, and... Um, I don't really remember much of it. I remember I hated Vaughn's robot voice. And I'm playing it now and it's just... It's too good. But anyway, uh, I wanted to bring a video today talking about uh, you know, the last couple videos I've been showing what guild leaves to use to level up your classes. So now uh, I'm going to talk about what to do when you are out of guild leaves. Also, I'm going to talk about the new um, specialization uh, abilities. Uh, specialization for this game, uh, you get to choose three out of the eight classes and you get to specialize in them, granting you other abilities. In the last expansion, it was kind of skipped, missed. Not a lot of skills were that good. Uh, a lot of people just still made rotations without specialists. I know in almost all of my crafting, I never used any of the specialist rotations ever. But uh, at level 69, if you're a specialist, you get probably the best skill I've ever... I mean, it's just great. Uh, so we'll talk about that, but first, um, if you are out of leaves and you still want to get down on your crafting, uh, what you need to do is you need to do red scripting. Um, the, the reset changes uh, about 1 o'clock uh, Pacific Standard Time. As you can see right here, it says that it's going to change at 1300. So it's about seven hours for me. Uh, depending on what class, so I still have my armor I have to do, I still have my leather worker I have to do, and I still have my alchemist I have to do. So we look at leather worker, we look at alchemist, and armor. Wow, that's just bad luck. You want to look and see one that has, right there, the gold star. Level up the one that has the gold stars because you are getting a bonus. You're also getting a fair amount of red scripts. What you want to do with your red scripts, uh, for me anyway, is I am buying the uh, engineering manuals. The manuals are definitely a, a good way to help increase your XP as well. Um, so right now, we're still leveling our armor. We're 67, almost 68. So right now, we want some uh, dome still and go into... This is a simple rotation that I always use, too. Um... Uh, it worked well for all I mean it's just you can even macro is pretty well so make sure you have all the mats um, make sure so careful uh, you know comfort zone inner quiet sturdy hand we're gonna do five touches uh, if you see precise touch want to go ahead and hit that as well two three And five. And another steady hand because we still have the durability. Now here you can either a hit a rapid synth to start getting your process, um, but I've already done you know just to see how many steps you need to take. I've uh, I've been crafting these for a while, so hopefully I won't mess it up. But we'll see. Master's mend. Get the sixty back. And we'll do one more, and then I'll hit two rapid. So we have the SC9. One, two. Excellent. Now we'll go ahead and finish her off. Ooh, so close. But it's fine, because, you know, anything above a thousand collectability nets us the, uh, the most. So. We're at 1088. So we have two steady hands left. Uh, Rapid Synth. Uh, probably one of the second best skills I've seen. The first one was alright, but this one... Fantastic. And boom. Alright, now. What I wanted to talk about primarily is for your advanced jobs. Or your, you know specializations. 
So in Heaven's Ward, they allowed you to have specializations for up to three classes. So a lot of people, you know, thought that you had to pick and choose very carefully, and then you realized you really didn't, because no one used them. Uh, it was cool that they added an extra 20 craftsmen, an extra 20 control. That's great. That's fine. That's that's a food buff. You know, that's 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 a guild buff. Whatever. Uh, the skills that they had were, you know, like I said, mediocre at best. Until um, this new expansion with Stormblood. At level 69, you will get internal preparations. Uh, just really good. So when you start a craft, it is the first thing that you need to hit or it will remove itself. When you activate it, there is a chance that you will proc to reduce the CP used on a skill. That one, I almost never proc. Uh, maybe once in a while, I'll proc on my, you know, my sturdy hand or my precise touch, but never. The reason why it's so good is it now unlocks these three abilities. Specialization, um, we have Reinforce, Refurbish, and Reflect. Note, though, that you have to have Inner Quiet on in order for Reflect to actually proc. <clears throat> They don't cost any CP, but they will use your uh, initial preparations once you use it. Reinforce allows you to get back 25 durability um, when activated. So, you know, if you're off by one or two touches, you only have five, uh, five or ten durability left, hit this bad boy, golden. Refurbish. It restores 65 CP, which is really good. Say you're, you know, you're off from hitting your great. Say you've just been nailing every precise touch, and you miscalculated your CP, or your food ran off right as you hit start or something, and you're just off. You can now be able to make sure you hit that great strides and beer guts. Fantastic. But my personal favorite, reflect. So good. So. Reflect uh, gives you three stacks of Inner Quiet. And obviously the stacks are up to 11. So say you've had some bad luck. You know, I, I can hear it in the background. Someone just hit back-to-back -back fails. And it's happened to me. I've hit back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back fail. You know, just bad. So say you're only at 6. Say you're only at 7. And you're just like, darn it, I'm not going to get that 100%. You hit this bad boy, 3. So now I just I stop when I'm at 8. All the time now. I'm like, all right, I have eight. Boom. I now have 11. I mean, I, I it's just too good. So if you haven't already uh, chose your classes, make sure you choose wisely. If you have already chose your classes because you're just like, eh, you can change it up. They do give you the ability to change your soul. Uh, it's through the red scripts. And they're, you know, about 500, so it's not that bad. Uh, if you're in a free company, make sure, you know, uh, you synergize well like I do. Um, I, I'm a carpenter, blacksmith, and armor, and then I have a friend who does uh, goldsmith, leatherworking, weaving, and then we have another friend who just finished off the last two, alchemy and culinarian. Um, and that's really all I want to talk about is that new skill. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope it was helpful. Uh, I will be bringing out a yellow script video very soon. I know I keep saying that, but... Uh, like I said, Final Fantasy XII was just taking up all my time, and now I'm going to try to get back to uh, making the video. I'll probably be doing, you know, one or two videos a week, just, you know, keeping everything up to date. Uh, again, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys found it helpful. If there's anything you guys want to see, let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for all up-to-date content, and as always, goodbye from Zalara.